Hi guys, Shane back with you from Guitar at Work. Uh, here's a biggie. This is uh, looking out for number one, BTO. Um, now there's a whole lot of whole lot of new shapes in here for you if uh, if you haven't done any sort of jazzy chords before. Uh, I kind of call this song uh, a gateway to jazz, a gateway drug to jazz. Right? Uh, it's a kind of a poppy song that uh, they brilliantly made use of these these jazz chords. Um, uh, what we're starting at with, first of all, it's finger style here. Finger style, you do not want to have a pick in your hands. I'm going to start just the basic chords before we get, uh, for the intro, before we get into the actual rhythm of that. Uh, you're going to see an F sharp minor 7th right on your chart. Yeah, strongly recommend you play it that way with uh, uh, ring finger, middle finger, and pinky going on there. Ring, middle, and pinky. That's standard fingering for that. And then this F7 that you're seeing, the pinky will stay put. And your first and second fingers kind of creep over. And let me do that again. Here's F sh sharp minor seven. Going to your F seven here. Boink. That's the one. And then E seven sus four. Pinky stays again. That guy, he stays for that entire uh, intro section right there. And for what we have so far, F sharp minor seven. Going to an F seven. Fingering one, two, four. There's other ways, but stick with that. Just the pinky remains. Now we are only, with the right hand, we're only plucking the three strings that we have fingers on, okay? I forgot to mention that. So back to the top, F sharp minor seven, my thumb's in there playing the low E, my first finger's in there playing the D string, and second finger is in there underneath that G string ready to go. So you gotta pull it, boom, like that, and then that was your F sharp minor seven, heading to F seven, and to an E seven sus here, only the pinky remains, same three strings with your right hand. And then now this A is your ring finger being added like that. And now your thumb, watch out for your right hand thumb, he has to go to the A string at that point. So you'll be plucking the A, D, and G strings in there. Like that. And let me do that again very slowly without the rhythm, just sketching the chords so far. F sharp minor seven. F seven. E seven sus. And then A. There we go. And let's get the rhythm going. Um, there's something called a push in there. Every second chord is coming in a little bit early. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So the F7 and the A come in on the upbeat, okay? So it starts F sharp minor seven this way. One, two, and. So there's your and, and that was your F7. And now E7 sus is on the downbeat. One, two, the A is on the up. Okay, so in time, without anything fancy in the right hand so far, we've got one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three. Repeat that. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Now, to get a bit fancier with the right hand, I might go one, two. I'm going to play uh, the F sharp minor seven as normal. I've all three, a thumb, first and second fingers on the right hand, getting in there. So one, Two. On the end of two, I'm just going to play the fingers, the fingers in the right hand on the F7. And on the downbeat, I'm going to play the bass note. Now that's a lot to think about, so I'm going to go top again, F sharp minor seven. One, two, fingers only, and then the bass note on the F7. That'll give it a bit more active sound. Uh, it's going three, four, one, two, fingers only, and then thumb. Okay, so again, three, four, going all together, fingers only, then thumb. And then uh, it's going E7 sus, same approach. So E7 sus, all three fingers, and then on the A, fingers only, and then, then the bass note that separates it. You could, here's a, here's a plain way to do it. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Now here's separating those, um, the chords from the bass notes in uh, every second chord. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Again, it's going one, two, and three. Four, one, two, and three, four. And I can't help myself but put in a little slap on the beats two and four just to totally occupy the time. Uh, don't do that if you have a drummer going on. They think that's their their province there. But then to go F sharp minor seven, three, four, bam, whack. Fingers thumb, whack. And then fingers thumb, and fingers thumb, whack. And bang. And. Great. Now in the. On the A, I should point out, there's a little riff in that. Uh, you'll see at the end of that first line. After you've played the A, uh, that guy, he goes D string, G string, and B string. Just rolls it. Nothing moves in the left hand. You go. Now if I include that, it sounds this way. Here's the top. Here it is. Repeat. Again. 
again. There it comes. Great. So that's your, your intro section. Now, um, the great rule of music, hey, if something sounds good, play a three frets higher. It'll, it'll sound good again. Three frets higher, and I'm going to take that, that F sharp minor 7 that we had, the second line in your on your sheet, it brings you up to, watch out for the Roman numerals, there you go, it's A minor 7, same finger, A minor 7 in there, yeah, A minor 7, get you a good look at that guy, I'm on the 5th fret of the low E, the 5th fret of the D, and the 5th fret of that G string. Now it's the same move, check this out, A minor 7 is going to go to A flat 7, same fingering I used as what we did down lower. First and second in pinky, which feels like a tangle at first, I have no doubt. Now we had open strings when we played it down in the open area before. We don't have that luxury here. Your G7 sus, you have to bar that third fret. And there's your pinky right there. He stayed put. Okay, so top of that section again. Second line on your page. A minor 7. Going to A flat 7. To a G7 sus. First fingers barring that third fret. And now the C that we need is just that. So first finger on the third fret, the A string, and third finger on the fifth fret of that D string, pinkies on the fifth fret of the G string. So that's tricky. Here we go. Top again of that section. A minor 7, A flat 7, G7 sus, and to your C. And just, he doesn't do that a little roll at the end of that. Um, let me take it from the intro. I'm going to do two passes of that uh, first line and then jump up three frets as we just uh, talked about. So here it is from the top. Three, four. Roll. Repeat that. And up we go. A minor seven, A flat seven, G seven sus, C. And now there's a, a little bit of a punch coming, but let me do that again, give you a fighting chance in there. Here's the very front again. Three, four, and F7, E7 sus, A, repeat. And now here we go up, A minor 7, A flat 7, G7 sus, C, good. Now, the third line, the third line of your sheet, as you can see, we've got a million chords on there, uh, B minor 11 here. He's got some punches. It sounds this way. Like that. So what is that? B minor 11. You'll see a fingering there. It's on your chart. But again, watch out for those Roman, no Roman numerals there. Uh, the seventh fret of the low E. Seventh fret of the D. Seventh fret of the G. And then fifth fret of that uh, B string. Now your right hand is having to get in there with the thumb, first, second, and third fingers to get all those strings going on. So bah, you just give her a pull like that. And he plays that chord twice. Bah, bah. And that's only your middle and ring fingers that move down one fret to your left. That gives you the B flat 7 flat 5. Awful names for chords, I realize, but they're accurate. And you get two of those. Ba -ba and now A major 7. How do we get there? I'm going to tuck my pinky in one to the left and almost flip my first and second fingers. There's an A major 7. Just um, think of it that way so you don't have to just come from it blindly and just, you know, finger it from, from nothing. That section again, the punches are B minor 11. Two of those, middle and ring fingers back down one fret, the rest of them stay put. That's a B flat seven, flat five. Two of those. Now I'm gonna tuck my pinky in one fret and reverse my first and second fingers. Doink! And there's your A, a major seven from that. Um, let me play a full intro for you, and you're gonna have to stop tape there maybe and uh, go through those chords and just slow and sure, and you'll get it, I promise. Here's F sharp minor from the very top. Three, four, F sharp minor seven. Roll. Up we go. A minor 7, A flat 7, G7 sus, C, and now here's your punches. Good, and the verse is about to come in. So again, stop tape if you need to there, just get that going on. Uh, I think that's the toughest part of the whole song. Uh, we only have a verse to go and then it's all repeats, Phil, and just how we stitch together the arrangement. Um, the verse section comes in uh, with a B11, we're calling that. We're in the second last line of your song sheet there. B11, Look, take a good look at that guy. That can be tricky to get to. Um, on the seventh fret here on the low E, seventh fret on the D, sixth fret of the G, and fifth fret of your B. That beautiful chord, that big sus thing. B11. Uh, and the neat thing is, if I play through the verse, this E note is in the top voice of every single chord. It's called a common tone. Let me play through it, you'll see what I mean. There's an E up top of this guy, an E on this guy, an E, and, and, that 
E is carried. Now when I go to the F major 7, there still is an E, but it's in the, it's in just in a different location. Still an E, and a G6, up we go. Like that is still, there's still a high E up there. Um, so let's go through each one of those slowly here. We got B11. And I should, let me actually, let me play it without that common tone. You'll see what I mean. It kind of glues everything together. We'd get, we'd have this. Kind of yucky without, without that uh, common tone. So here it is with the common tone. That E note being reharmonized every bar. Or actually twice in bars, two beats a piece on those. But B11, back to that guy here. Again, at seven, seven, six, and five fretwise. And that is going to a B flat minor seven flat five. Again, horrible names for chords, but that's what we got there. That's a common jazz chord. And then I'm gonna to choose to borrow this A minor seven that you're seeing here. A minor seven, and now this guy here, a G sharp here, G sharp minor seven with that uh, raised fifth in there. They're tricky to name when we're having a common tone experience there. G sharp minor seven, there we go, G sharp. And I'm not gonna to go to the third fret, bar him, and I'm gonna use my pinky on that, on that E, on the B string. That's the one there, we're calling that G minor seven slash six. One there, and it's gonna move the bar one further to your left. It's a bit of a stretch for some of us. That's F sharp minor seventh there. Again, so top of that verse section, B11, and then to a B flat minor seven flat five. To an A minor seven, he's barred. To this guy here, A flat minor seven with that raised fifth, and then G, G minor seven slash six, and back in that bar down. You see that bar is just moving left every time. And after that, you've got an F major seven here. F major seven, I like on that guy. You could just play F major seven like that, like your shirt suggests, but I like to have my thumb over like that, just so I can get a big juicy bass note in there. Boom. Just take that guy, drag it two frets higher. That's your G, and the sixth in it, G6. Good. Now, the, uh, the rhythm kind of squares out in the verse. The, uh, the intro and the chorus parts are the funky parts where, uh, but the verse is really straight ahead, two beats a piece. So I'll do this, I'll go B11 here. Hard to call them out and play it at the same time and talk to you. So B11 gets two beats, like a one, two, I'll put a smack on B2, one, two, next chord, A minor seven, next chord, a G minor seven slash six, F sharp minor seven, Good, F, F major seven, G six. Okay, repeat that. B11, B flat minor seven flat five, A minor seven, uh, a, a, B flat with a raised fifth there, and then G minor seven slash six, F sharp minor seven, F major seven, and G six, boom. And guess what, that's it. It's all you gotta know, as if that's not enough, I realize. Um, but there's a little roll here. When you get to the F major seventh on the, uh, in, in the verse section, he plays the high E, he plays a chord, uh, like that, you'll hear the upper string, that high E string played, and then he, he plays the B string just directly after, so you get this. And if I drag it two frets higher, now pluck that guy, but only up to and including the B string. That's your G6 chord there. And then play the high E. So what's all that? So go F major seven, playing the high string first, and then playing the B string. And then up two frets, and then I'll play the B string, pluck the chord up to and including the B string and then play the high E string open, okay? So in context, that is this. Here it comes, here it comes, here. It repeats at that point. And here it is here. Great, now in the chorus, the chorus is just the intro. Round, round. So you've got your, you your chorusy bit in there. Um, again, a lot to fight through here, without a doubt, a lot to fight through. The only other thing you're gonna run into um, is uh, they, go to, they go to, during the solo sections, they do the intro as we know it. You know, do it a couple times and then they do it up three frets as we did in the intro. They'll do that a couple times, then they head back to where the intro starts initially. A couple of those. And then up it goes, three frets, bow, 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 and 
he's soloing over top of that. Um, at the very end of the song, you're going to hear it going into a waltz time thing, and that is the verse going like this, waltz time being three, right? So going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. same chords, but in three. And I think for a, a, a right hand pattern for that, I might go uh, bass, fingers, bass, fingers. So yeah, bow, 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 and that's counted one and two and three, 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 one, two and three, one and two, repeat. And that goes out, round and round, it goes out in the outro section there. Um, I always feel guilty about doing it this quickly in front of you, but uh, people seem to like shorter videos. And I think we've got all the components there and you easily stitch that together. If you think, okay, I've got an intro, I've got, uh, I've got a series of punches, that, I've got a verse section. Get those going and worry about the, uh, the order of occurrence later on. Uh, you're well up to it. It's a biggie for sure, but uh, go at it. It's the only way to do it, right? So it's a bit of a push forward. I hope you enjoyed that. See you very soon for the next video. Thanks for subscribing and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers now. Bye-bye.